It's time to load up the bees and take them on home for the winter. Let's check out how we got this done. Welcome back everyone. And as you can see, we brought the trailer, which means it's time to load these hives up and get them home. We are at the out yard today and we're loading up bees and taking them on home. We got uh, a couple of nice days here, mid 60s. And uh, the end of the month is coming, Halloween's next week. So it's time to load these girls up and get them on home and get them ready for the uh, winter storage. So uh, stick with us here. We're going to load these up. I'll show you how I do it and uh, get on the road. So I just use a regular uh, single axle 12 foot trailer for this. There's not that many hives here. So I bring a couple pallets with me, put them on a trailer. And then, then I just do it the old fashioned way. I uh, take a pallet like this, I'll smoke them real good, pick up the hives and just calmly walk them over there and put them on that uh, new pallet. And then eventually uh, this pallet's empty, it goes on a trailer and we move down to here. And it's a little bit tiring, it's a little bit backbreaking work because uh, I don't have a, I've got a half ton truck and I don't have a big enough truck to haul my tractor up here. And there's really no other way to do it unless I wanted to rent a truck and do all that kind of stuff. So uh, at home I use the tractor and uh, I can put them right into the barn. But up here I have to do it the old fashioned way and just manual labor. And it takes a couple hours to get them all on there and then get them uh, strapped down and everything. But uh, it's not that big a deal. Um, hopefully we'll have a better system for next year. But I'm gonna get these uh, hives loaded up and we'll check in with you here in a minute. So we've got uh, two pallets done now and on the trailer. There's five total, uh, 20 hives, and starting the third one right now. You can see the third one here is a little bit different because it's got two doubles. There's another double on that other one, so the doubles are gonna go on the back. And the one here is a single with two mediums, so that one's probably gonna cause me some trouble. That might have to go in the back of the truck. Don't know if I can strap that one down safely. We will have to see. So what I'm going to do is put all the singles on the next pallet. So I'll have to mix and match between a few pallets here. Unfortunately, I forgot my feeder plugs. So... I'm having to put some duct tape on these. Glad I had the duct tape. That would have been a big hassle if I didn't have any tape. It's not ideal. It'll work until I get home. And I just smoke them up. And then I crack the box. I don't crack the lids. This one stuck together. And then I put them in the trailer. This is the only time I wear gloves. Um, just got stung in the leg. I wear my thickest jeans, but I just got stung anyway. And I actually wear beekeeping gloves for this activity because so sometimes some of these hives get really agitated. The weather's not great, it's overcast. It was raining all morning, so. You just don't know, so I go ahead and throw the gloves on just to be safe. I had a couple plugs, I think I had four or five in the truck, so I can put a plug in here.
Now, so far, I have been stung once, but really pretty easy. This hive, I can tell, is, is pretty agitated. So I'm just going to leave them for a minute. All right, so I got all the singles on the trailer, and now we get into the fun stuff here. Got two double deeps, uh, two deep with mediums, and one deep with two mediums. So this will probably be an interesting challenge. All right, so all the bees are on the trailer, as you can see. And we did leave the one hive behind over here. And we're going to take these bees home and get them uh, unloaded tomorrow and get a bucket of feed on them and uh, give them their final mite treatment and get them ready to go inside the uh, winter storage shed in about a uh, month or so. Yeah, so that's how we do it. And I hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, watching that and seeing how it gets done. Bees are all loaded up and we're going to get on the road and head home. So thanks for checking out this video and take care.